Hey guys, my name is Ellen Dillon, and tonight I'm going to be walking you through my project, uh, the Pooper Scooper 2.0. Um, sorry about this, I will submit my slideshow as well, but apparently the mic on my computer is not working. So, um, I had it all put together, and then I went back through and you couldn't hear anything, so I figured I'd do it again. Um, so what I decided to do was to put together uh, a product that... Um, is useful and very much marketable today in our society. Um, so the following presentation is a product that will be um, an attachment to riding lawnmowers uh, that will be able to, while you're mowing the grass, you'll be able to press a button and it'll scoop up the poop or whatever is in your way and it'll dump it back into a, dip a disposable bag that you'll later be able to remove and just throw in the trash can. Um, so basically this is focusing on people with animals, uh, mostly dogs, but people who have animals that are outside um, that you need to, to, to pick up before you are able to mow your lawn. This is kind of just to cut down on that, that time and make it a little bit more uh, ideal for you. So like I said, the product is the Pooper Scooper 2.0. It is an attachment that will be available to attach to your riding mower. You'll be able to press a button. It'll come down, it'll scoop up the poop in front of you as it scoops it up and then it pulls the machine back up. It'll drop down into a disposable bag that you'll be able to pull off your lawnmower when you're done, tie and throw in the trash. So you don't even have to touch it really. Um, why? Why is this marketable? So as you know, today people have tons of animals. Um, almost every family has at least one animal in it. Um, and so I first thought of this because I noticed like growing up, my dad was always out in the yard uh, picking up after our dog and it took him a good while to like walk back and forth in the yard, make sure he got everything uh, before he was able to mow his lawn. Um, and so when you work a full time job, you have a family, you come home, you only have so many hours in the day um, to, to take care of your lawn and to, to clean up outside. And that's what we were doing is we were spending all of our time out in the yard, Cleaning up, after each other, cleaning up after our animals, and it was really cutting down on our time to spend together as a family because um, my dad was in the yard most of the night. Um, and so another cool thing is people are always looking to be able to do two things at once. You know, they feel accomplished. They feel like they've done a good deed for the day. And so that's what you're doing. You're doing two things at once, cutting down your time. Um, and it's pretty cool, actually. Um so you will be able to mow your lawn as you are doing this. The pooper scooper will be attached on the front of the lawnmower. That way you can scoop it up before your blades come across to cut the grass and you'll be good to go. Uh, mission. Um, my mission is to be able to do two things at once. We want to make sure that you are using your equipment, time, and energy in the best way possible. And plus, it totally makes it fun. It makes it a little bit more fun to, to, to scoop your poop, scoop the poop. Uh, when you can do it while you're riding the lawnmower, you don't have to touch it and you don't have to worry about getting it all over the place and you don't have to worry about missing anything. You know, you mow every inch of your yard and so that cuts down on your time. You don't have to walk every inch of your yard before you're able to actually get out and mow it. Um, objectives. Um, one, convenience. Being able to know that you're making things easier, um, gives you a good feeling. Uh, and we want people, we want people to be able to cut their time spent in their yard in half that way that they're able to spend their time in their yard with their family enjoying it playing with their kids um throwing the ball for the dog and after about stepping in poop um while you freshly mowed the yard and you're good to go affordability um you know being middle class um even under middle class uh we see all these things come out that are supposed to make life easier and they're either really cheap and not good products or they're good products and you're like dropping a lot of money you feel guilty you should be spending it on something else you know do I really need to spend money on that I could I could just walk around and do it myself um so affordability we want our customers to be able to have the luxury of this product without making them feel like they're breaking the bank uh, we want it to be an easy decision to make and we don't want it cheap so that people are skeptical location so we're going to have uh, three distribution centers. The main distribution center will be here in my hometown, Lewisburg, West Virginia. Um, that will be the distribution center that, that is in contact with the two others. 
um, Los Angeles, California, and Houston, Texas. We got one kind of three right across the United States, kind of cover the basis in that way. Um, and the good thing about that is, you know, every state basically has its own season and everything is different. And as you go across the map, it changes even drastically. Um, so being able to have a distribution center kind of in each part of the United States, they'll be able to keep track of their inventory. They'll know the seasons. They'll know when things are selling the most. And that kind of puts them in charge of that. They will, Los Angeles and Houston will be the ones contacting Lewisburg because Lewisburg will be our main distribution center. Um, and we will distribute, we'll distribute, you know, to the local tractor supply stores, um, whichever ones are most popular throughout those states. Uh, we will be putting those on the shelves uh, um, of the of the places that sell lawn mowers. That way, uh, if you already have a lawn already lawnmower, it's just an attachment. You can just go and buy it whenever you feel the need. Or if you're out to buy a, a new lawn mower, you know you can upsell and 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 buy it when you buy your riding lawn mower as well. Um, we will not really be using an ERP or anything as we get started, but we will look into that as once we get our feet on the ground. Um, we want to keep the company on the same page be up to date on everything communication is very important to me um in my jobs in the past and and currently communication is something that i try to stress to everybody i want to make sure everyone's on the same page um examples that we've gone through in the book we've noticed you know um if you're not communicating with your distribution centers with everyone locally uh things are going to get wacky and so we want to make sure we're using our time our resources and our money the best that we can um so that's very important uh quality uh, like I said, accountability and inspections are key. Um, we will want to, as soon as the product is released, we will be doing stuff like customer reviews and and, and comments and, and questionnaires and to, to see how we can improve. Um, but we will use reviews and charts to track things, to make sure we're on track, to make sure we're doing the best we can and, and, and the product is up to standard. Um, frequent inspections will take place. Um... The main warehouse workers will be in charge of checking machinery, keeping inventory up to date, and making sure that each distribution center is stocked and running like it should. We want to make sure that each district, each center, um, you know, has what they need. That one doesn't ha- isn't overloaded while the other is lacking in supply. Uh, we want to make sure that everything's on track. That that's huge. Um, so that will be a big part of that as well. Um, you know, going through this, I've learned so much. Um, it's interesting, you know. You know, everybody's going through the DE and thinking like, oh, yeah, we could, we should totally create that. But you don't really realize how much goes into it, uh, into creating a new product and just supply chain and all that stuff. Um, so it's very interesting to go through the sessions each week um, and learn just so much more about things. Um, but I think that th- this is something that could be marketable. So you know, maybe one day someone will see this and we could create it because I know my husband would appreciate it. Uh, we got a rather large yard and with a dog in the house. A big dog, you know, that'd be something that would re- be pretty cool to create. So maybe one day, uh, but I appreciate it. Thanks for listening guys. And, um, you never know, maybe the pooper scooper will be coming to a town near you. <laughs> Thanks.